Hi, and welcome to Faith in Flower. I'm Robin, and welcome to our home. We have lived here for just a little over a year. Actually, we bought the house a little over a year ago, did some renovating, and moved in just under a year ago. We were living in our Airstream while we were doing renovations, and there's been quite a big transformation, and I've showed you a lot of that step-by-step step as we've gone through it, but I thought it would be really fun to take a tour of our home now that it's mostly complete. So we still have a couple areas left to tackle and we haven't done everything we want to do to the exterior, but the interior has really come a long way. So let's go room to room and I'll show you a little bit of the before and after as we do it. As you walk in the front door, we have a very small entryway, little alcove area. I put this dresser in here and it's been a really nice place to be able to redecorate seasonally. And there's a lot of storage in here where I can put table linens and extra china, things like that, because it's right next to our kitchen and dining area. Right in the entryway here, we have a hall closet for our coats. I've got some bins up at the top where we keep hats, gloves, scarves, all of those things. And it's been really nice because we actually did not have a coat closet in our previous home. So we can store them all here, which is really nice. From the entryway, you can see the living room straight ahead and our dining room kitchen area to the right. So I'll take you into the living room first and show you around there. This is our living room. We bought new furniture for in here. You can see our dog Austin over in the corner there. We've painted, we've put in new flooring. There have been so many changes in this area and we are really enjoying all of those changes. As you can see, the living room is open to the kitchen. So there's a really nice flow in this house that we love. We also really like the vaulted ceilings and the fireplace. All of the seating and the ottoman came from Pottery Barn. I really love this L-shaped sofa. You can actually reverse it so that the chaise part can be on the left or the right. So we've changed that around a couple of times. I really like the ottoman too. It's got a lot of storage inside as well as the chaise. So it's a great place for tucking away blankets and keeping any little extra things that you'd like to have out of sight, but have access to in the living room. We chose these swivel chairs from Pottery Barn because we really like that you can turn them towards the television to watch TV, or you can turn them towards the sofa for conversation. This beautiful Turkish rug belonged to Patrick's grandparents. We just love having it in here. We really like the way everything works together with it. And this one belonged to them as well, and we have it here in the entryway. This green console and also the one over here next to the television we brought with us from our previous home. They came with our previous home. We bought that house almost fully furnished and we took some of the pieces along and these work really well in this space. In this one next to the fireplace, we mostly store photo albums. We have some vinyl records, old yearbooks and keepsakes in it. And this one houses some extra china pieces and all of our board games, which we like to play here in the living room. Just off the living room are two bedrooms. We have our guest room and straight ahead, the bathroom, Peyton's room is on the right and we have a linen closet here. In this linen closet, I'm able to keep everything for the two bedrooms and the bathroom over here, which is really nice. Plus all of my sewing items and some extra blankets down there at the bottom. 
I have a whole video showing you how I organize this space, so I will link that below if you'd like to see it in more detail. This room to the left of the hallway is our guest bedroom. The color in this bedroom is the same as in Peyton's. I had it custom matched to the color of the walls he had in his previous bedroom. I really like this color. It's a very nice mute light blue gray color and i thought that it would work really well with this turkish rug uh, it's probably hard for you to tell but it's got little hints of that color in it and the rug in peyton's room does as well and i also wanted to make his room comfortable and somewhat familiar since he had to move to a different space and he really enjoys it and i love the way it looks in here we chose to put these fabric Roman shades in all of the bedrooms. They're an off-white color, so they're very neutral, which means I could change up the walls or the decor of the rooms without having to worry about replacing the window treatments. But we really enjoy how they work. They're very high quality. They have a really pretty um, sort of texture to them that I like and they are blackout. So you can choose different levels of what you want it backed with, but these really do a good job of blocking out the light, so they're perfect for bedrooms and bathrooms. This house was built in 1984, so the rooms have rather small closets, but they're quite functional. Here in the guest room, I have a few storage boxes on the top shelves. It has some of Kyle's items, plus a few Christmas things, and I've put some extra hangers and pillows for when guests come. I also installed one of these motion sensing lights in the closet. So whenever you open the door, you have plenty of light to see what you need in here. The closet also came with a couple of hooks and these are really nice for hanging something like a bathrobe. The bathroom here at the end of the hall is primarily Peyton's. He does share it when we have guests and it was previously renovated by the owners before us. So we are planning to keep it the same. Peyton enjoys it. It's rather masculine, so it works great for him. They have brought in some really nice pieces for the sink and over the toilet. We only added a handheld shower, which makes it a little bit more functional for Peyton and our guests. Over here to the right is Peyton's room. And I did do a video on how we redid his room. I tried a few different things in here and we wound up sticking with the original furniture that he's had since he was a baby, basically. It's a really high quality furniture. He loves it and I think it looks cute in here. We did just graduate him up to a larger bed. He used to have the trundle bed and now he's got a queen size bed and we got a new headboard for that. Peyton's window overlooks the backyard and I like having the desk positioned like this so when he's sitting there he can look outside. We have the same fabric shades on his window and it's very bright outside right now but it still does block quite a bit of light. Peyton has a closet just a little larger than the one in the guest room and he does have a TV in here which he likes to use for video games. 
The walls in here are the same color as the guest room, and they seem a little bit bluer in here than they did in our previous home, and I think that's due to the light. This rug also belonged to Patrick's grandparents, and I love having it in here. Peyton loves it too. It's really colorful. It's got blue in it, so it ties in with the wall really well. I think it looks great with the flooring and with his furniture. He loves it, and so we kept the bedding neutral so it wouldn't compete with that. And as you can see from the artwork, Peyton is a big fan of Sonic and Pokemon, so his taste in art reflects that. You can enter the kitchen either from the living room or you can come in from the entryway. This first space is our only dining area. So we have a table that comfortably seats six. We have a bench over on the wall here that we can add for seating. And we have three additional seats at the bar. I have quite a detailed video on our kitchen renovation with all the befores and afters, so I will link that down in the description box in case you'd like more detail. We took out all of the cabinetry, pretty much gutting our kitchen. We took up the tile floors and added this engineered hardwood floor. We also have new furniture in here. This is also by Pottery Barn. We added new light fixtures and shiplap on the wall and also these bamboo shades, which we are really enjoying as well. When we renovated the kitchen, we decided to keep the layout the same. We are built on a concrete slab, so that means changing locations for water and electrical can be really difficult and really increase the price of a renovation. And plus, even though it's a little bit quirky, we feel like this design works well for us. So I'll show you what I mean. Just over here, this door is to our master bedroom. I'll take you in there in a minute. But there were some interesting spaces back here that we changed. We put in this pantry, which has been really great for food storage. As you come around the corner, we plan to put a barn door here because just beyond that is my office. But here was a large pantry and it was nice to have the extra storage, but it covered this window and I love natural light. So we wanted to expose that. So we did, we took that out and we still have plenty of space for storage underneath and a place for our microwave. It's sort of like a little butler's pantry area. We added shiplap to this wall and the same bamboo shades we used for the front of the house. And I enjoy having the microwave tucked away over here and it gives us a little extra space for some produce like our onions, potatoes, and fruit, along with the cookbooks, the notebooks that I like to keep all of our recipes in that I use on a regular basis. So this is where a barn door will go, and this is my office space just in here. 
It'll be nice to have that to be able to close it off for when I do voiceovers and things like that, but it's actually working quite well right now. And this space has been really nice. I love that I can look out the window. I have lots of storage here in my desk. On the wall here, I'm displaying some paintings made by my grandmother, which are really special to me. And on the right of my desk, I've got my YouTube play button. My office leads into what we call the bonus room. So this was a converted garage. And right now, Patrick is using it as his office. He really likes to be able to have a view from the window. And we have a little bit of furniture in here, but this room is definitely a work in progress. We will keep this seating probably in the room along with the bookshelf, but this trundle bed that used to belong to Peyton, we're going to break down and store. We had thought about selling it, but changed our minds. We thought it might be nice to have for the future. And so we're going to try to figure out what we're going to do with this room. Patrick really loves doing train layouts, so we might use part of this room for that. So this is Patrick's workspace. He's got a little bit of extra storage there on the side and the basket on top we keep for leashes, um, hats and gloves when it's cold outside because this is the door where we often come and go. Just to the left here is our laundry room. And this is one space that we have not done anything with. In fact, we took up the tile floors and all we have is the concrete currently. So we do plan to redo this space, but we were taking a little breather after all of the renovating that we've been doing. But as soon as we get on that, I will let you know. And of course I'll be documenting it all along the way. We did get new washer and dryers, but other than that, we kept everything the same as the previous owners. This layout is a little strange, so we will have to work on that when we renovate it. With the sink being here, it sort of blocks the washer and dryer space. So we wind up with sort of a space here in the corner that doesn't function super well. So we're gonna try to figure out a solution for that. Of course, we will put new flooring in here, and I think it will be tile. There is a hidden ironing board, which I think is a great idea, but it doesn't function super well for me because it's a little short. I'm 5'9", and I prefer it to be a little higher, so I like my own ironing board that I can adjust. And also, this is a really small ironing board. It is a great concept, and if I can figure out a way to keep that feature in our new design, I probably will but I need to think about it a little more. If you guys have any suggestions on that, let me know. There's even an outlet in here for the iron. So it's a great design. I just need to work on maybe figuring out how to lift it a little bit. Um, and I'm not sure I can get used to the small size, but we'll see. This door leads to our backyard and is where we come and go quite often. Our garage or hangar where we keep our Airstream is out there. And so we do tend to keep shoes here <laughs> as we come into the house and take them off. So I will need to figure out a good solution for that in the design for this room as well. It needs to function as a mud room and a laundry room. Right now we have quite a large storage closet in here, which is really nice, but right now it is not organized well at all. As you can see, not every room in our home and every closet is organized perfectly. This one has been sort of a catch-all for all of the things. Um, you know, you need a laundry room space for some things, and I'm going to have to figure out how to make sure that we keep all of this storage in the new design for this room as well.
mainly what we use this space for is all of our food storage. This is what we call our prepper pantry. And it's just about a four week food supply that we like to keep on hand. And yeah, we do have a mirror in here because this was just a closet space by the previous owners that they use for clothing. Um, but I'm probably not gonna remove that. I don't mind having it in here. And if we ever wanted to convert it back, we could do that these shelves we got from home depot and they have been great i will link them below in case you're interested and like i said i'll have that video on how i organized everything in here so you can take a look at that if you want the details So here off the kitchen is our master bedroom. I also have a video of how we transformed this space, so I will link that down in the description box as well. We painted all of the walls white in our home, and that is Polar Bear by Bear, which we found at Home Depot. We have the same engineered hardwoods throughout our home. And the Turkish rug that we have in here is one of my favorites. I just love these soft colors and I wanted to keep everything else fairly neutral so that that would stand out. Our headboard came from Pottery Barn and most of the rest of the furniture in here we have had for quite a long time and I don't think that it's available anymore. I enjoy this little nook for reading and I love that we have these double doors to the left that lead to our deck outside. We also have a closet to the right and straight ahead is our bathroom. Our bathroom was also renovated by the previous owners and we really love what they did in here. So it was nice to have a couple of spaces that we didn't have to touch. The floors in here are marble. The countertop is as well. Our shower is a combination of marble and ceramic tile. The only things we've done in here is add this fabric shade to the bathroom window. I added a couple of command hooks on the backs of the doors for our robes. And I have a video on how I've organized all of the cabinets in our bathroom in here. So if you would like to see that, I'll have it linked down in the description box as well. I do keep a basket of extra towels here. This was a little vanity area originally, but I don't really use it for that. Although I do like to stand here to do my makeup because of all of the natural light. And we've got a little space heater, which is really nice in the winter time for warming up the bathroom. Although our closet is quite a bit smaller than the one we had in our previous home, it works really well because it's got a pretty good organizational system in it that the previous owners left behind. I did add a couple of hooks to the door for things like pajamas and sweatshirts that we're wearing during the week. 
This side is Patrick's and he keeps all of his clothes in here. We've got some storage at the top, photo albums, things like that, and our hamper down here at the bottom. We do have a built-in dresser, so that's really nice for extra clothing. I keep all of my purses on these shelves and a couple of decorative items and all of my long clothing goes in this section back here. So I've got some cardigan sweaters and long dresses hanging here, kind of all seasons because I really like having this long length area and everything that I have fits really nicely in here. This is my side of the closet. As you can see, I've got lots of space for shoes and plenty of room for clothing. And I only like to really keep in here what I'm wearing for the current season and everything else I put in the storage closet that we have in our bonus room just to keep things simple in here. Thank you for joining me for today's video. I hope you enjoyed our home tour. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them down in the comment section. And I'm gonna have a whole bunch of videos with more details to our renovations listed in the description box. So make sure you check out those. Thank you so much for spending your time with me here today. I really enjoy hearing from you. So leave me a comment below and I'll see you in the next video. Sunday, 2 p.m. Central Time here on YouTube. And until then, have a wonderful week.